to this later, but I'll actually ask this more on the topic. Kevin Nash had this quote, and I'll read it to you. Yeah. I just want to know what you, your thoughts are on this quote. This is what Kevin Nash said. Then there's Ricky Morton, who was in the business for 20 years, on top for 10 of them, yet now doesn't have a dime to his name, and he decides he's going to tell what, about what happened in the wrestling business. The guy isn't. The guy hasn't been in the business for the last 10 years. Anything he did was back in the 80s, so I guess that's what those guys did back then. I guess that's why they don't have any money. But the guys in the business today have mutual funds, retirement plans. We don't put every dime we make up our nose and down our throat. But then again, what do I know? I'm only a pro wrestler. Well, yeah, okay, well, see, good. What then? What do I know? Yo, got Kevin Nash. You know, basically this business here today, you got to understand, on this interview I did, I was talking about my ex-wife, that she took everything I had. Now, Kevin Nash, you know, this is like I got to say, brother, you know, what is he, six foot nine, thinks he knows everything about this business and don't know shit. Brother couldn't draw your flies in a shit factory. And I'm telling you the fucking truth. He's lucky to be in this business. Now, you got to understand, the biggest year in this whole fucking year that we ever had was $120,000. This motherfucker made $40,000 every two weeks. That's more than I made in goddamn a whole year. But you know what? What the fuck has he done? What does he prove? I seen Kevin Nash have Kevin Nash have one good fucking match. And that was against Shawn Michaels right. when he called it. Now what does he know? He don't know nothing. See, Kevin is the kind of guy. He's lucky. I gotta say that my hat's off to you because you got your fucking money. But brother, we worked hard for what we got. And it wasn't because of drugs. Yeah, you know, if I'm making forty thousand dollars every two weeks, yeah, I guess I could put stuff in this grow, can't I? But when I got when I'm making hundred twenty thousand dollars a year, and that was my biggest year and the whole thing because back then we got paid how many asses we put on the seat, not whose ass we kissed. You know, that's what I'm trying to say to you. And I don't give a fuck if he likes it or not. What's he gonna do? Whoop my ass? Fuck Kevin Nash. You know, Kevin Nash is a piece of shit. Anybody, but before that, I never said nothing about Kevin Nash, but since he says something about me, it's my time to retaliate. Well, what you gonna do, Kevin? Hit me? Fuck, do that. I take some of that good money that you got for free. Understand that, cocksucker. Memories of your series with the Guerrero. Yeah, he had a, he had a hot spot there, didn't he? Yeah. Well, see, that motherfucker, he don't know shit about this goddamn business. You know, matter of fact, let me tell you this right here. The reason WCW is closed down because this ignorant son of a bitch beat Goldberg on TV. He killed a goddamn franchise. Why? For his fucking ego? Well, you big dumbass. Fuck you. You know, and, and, and they done got away from it so much, you know. I mean, what, what can you say about, you know, Vince McMahon? He's a billionaire. I mean, he's doing something right. You know, because the North is different from the South, you know what I'm saying? But if WCW would just, you know, what they, what they try to do is compete with some of it, you know? Why compete? You know, you got your own business. Just worry about your business. You know, and, and and if you watch their TV, they brought the fucking guys they got rid of in WWF to bring there. Right. And give them these millions and millions of dollars. Why in the hell do you think Vince got rid of them for? You know? It's like a big deal. You know, I'll, be able to, I'll never forget the first. Me and Robert went in at WCW. I'm sitting there, and the big deal was uh, Eric Bischoff had a big fucking meeting. We got, we won the day in court. We got Scott Hall. We got Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, which Scott Hall's a great work. He paid his dues. He, he did good. But I'm watching Eric, this is Eric Bischoff himself. I'm thinking to myself, whose dick did you suck to get this job? God damn, dumbass. What the, where are you coming from? I mean, is that a, is that a victory to you? If you dumb fuck, that's why you ain't got, that's why WCW ain't there no more. Whoever, I mean, god damn, guys, what the fuck are you thinking? If you don't even worried about him, you had WCW, that's yours. Think about what you're going to do, your new ideas you're going to do. Don't bring in the fucking garbage that somebody else threw away. I ain't trying to say that bad because, you know, you know how I feel about Kevin Nash. He's a worthless piece of shit, but Scott Hall is a good worker. You know, and they put the try to put the thing off on Scott Hall about doing drugs and stuff, but Scott Hall's great. Scott Hall paid his dues. I know Scott Hall for years. He's a hell of a worker. Uh, you ain't shitting. He didn't have to go out there and be the Wizard of fucking Oz or Vinnie goddamn fucking Vegas, you know. Just say what you say what you mean, right? Thinking that he knows everything about this business. Say what you and mean. ride down the road in a fucking car and think you can book a goddamn territory. Think he knows other things and don't know shit. Don't know fucking shit about our business. How it even post operator run. 
I'm sorry I keep going back to that because I never said nothing about this fucker. You know, and, and he got his other things wrong, you know. He apologized to me, I apologized to him. But other than that, he kissed my goddamn ass. Just going back to something else. Sorry, we... <laughs> that goes for me, I ain't him, it's me, all right? They used to, you know, soft, 